Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again today. I hope uh, y'all had a really nice Thanksgiving. Uh, I know Dee and I had a great time, uh, spent some time with our family. Uh, I was really excited, got to see my Aunt Dawn and her family, and even got to see my sister. Um, Terry had to have chemo treatments over the holiday, but she made the very best of uh, her challenging circumstances. Keeps a good attitude, and uh, I know she would really appreciate your continued prayers. So I thank you for uh, keeping her in your prayers. Today, I want to think a little bit about um, Joseph and Mary. Uh, it is the subject of our uh, sermon series during Advent. And in this week's sermon series, we examine the part of the story that tells us that Mary and Joseph uh, were engaged. Now, I'm guessing things have changed a little bit since biblical times, but I'm guessing also some things uh, remain a constant. I would feel confident that they were excited about their upcoming marriage, filled with anticipation and hope, and just wondering how their life would be uh, as they came together uh, as a couple. And then we read these words uh, in our text for Sunday, now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. Now we need to remember at this point in the story, the angel appeared to Mary, but not Joseph. Joseph was in the dark about what was going to happen, and I don't know, in the vernacular of the day, to say his balloon was burst is kind of an understatement. But don't you think, if we just consider Joseph's feeling, gosh, he had to feel betrayed, humiliated, downright devastated. How can this be happening to me, Joseph would be saying? This wasn't the plan. And, you know, I think today we might be a bit more tolerant than back then. But when this came out, people would talk. They would gesture. They would judge. It wasn't going to be pretty. But here's what I want us to notice. I want you to notice the choice, the choice that Joseph made in regard to Mary. He didn't respond in hatred or malice, but with mercy and grace. He showed himself to be what? How does the scripture say? A righteous man. He chose. He chose to quietly call off their engagement. He would shoulder the shame, and he would protect Mary to the extent possible. Now, that begs me to ask a question about myself and us to each look in the mirror and say, can we do the same as Joseph? Can we... When hurt and disappointment comes our way, can we respond not, not seeking revenge, but can we be like Joseph, extending mercy and grace? Can we be at our best and unselfishly put aside our hurt to restore a relationship? I learned this lesson painfully with my parents. I decided to enter the Air Force without talking to my parents. And when I finally told them, well, I didn't handle it well, I said some things that, well, it was hurtful. I shouldn't have said what I said. And I left angry. If they weren't going to support me, then I just didn't want to have anything to do with them. I was stubborn. I was immature. I was young. And you know what? I was wrong. And I wasn't willing to admit it. I wasn't mature enough at that point to do the right thing. I just left an angry young man. Well, it was only literally a few days later when my father made a two-hour trip to offer an olive, olive branch to do what I should have done. While it was clear that I had hurt them badly and they weren't crazy about the choice I had made, my dad wanted me to know that they would always love me and I was welcomed home any time. He showed his angry son mercy, grace, and forgiveness. Yes, it would be a while for the hurt to heal and trust to be restored, but Dad was a righteous man who did the right thing that day. Years later, I would remember my father's example 
And I would go to parishioners who were upset. And I would offer mercy, understanding, and forgiveness. It was the right thing to do. It was a lesson that I had learned from both Joseph and my dad. So my friends, this Advent season, as we look at the Christmas story through the eyes of Joseph, today we remember how a righteous man from day one chose, he chose to show mercy, grace, and forgiveness. May we make the same choice the next time life brings us hurt. And may we be as gracious and merciful and forgiving as Joseph was, as he looked out and did the right thing for Mary. May it be so. Amen. A few things uh, about the life of Wesley Church. Uh, I want to thank everyone uh, who donated some gifts uh, as we participated this year in the Join Hand Gifts for uh, Children's program. Uh, those gifts were all delivered this week. And here's what you want to remember, my friends. Those gifts are going to bring a smile, a jo joy, and hope to many, many children in Perry County. Really looking forward to Sunday, December 12th. It's going to be a very special Sunday here at Wesley Church. The children going, are going to be doing their play during our morning service. And they're going to share with us their version of the Christmas story. Then following the service, we're going to have a brunch. You can uh, sign up at the welcome table or call the office uh, so that um, we can uh, make adequate preparations for that brunch. Um, we are really looking forward to sharing on uh, this special day with you. And it seems strange to be talking about it, but our candlelight Christmas Eve service is literally just weeks away. And um, we'll be holding one service this year at 7 p.m. I'm going to be sharing a a special story with the children. We're going to be singing some of our favorite carols, and we're going to end our service with the candle lighting, a time of candle lighting. It's always a special time in that service. This service this year will be in person, and it's going to be so nice to welcome you back into our sanctuary. We will also uh, live stream that service. Well, thank you for sharing this time with me today. Uh, let's close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving and forgiving God, just as you have forgiven us, help us to forgive others. Help us to choose to extend mercy, grace, and forgiveness to those who hurt us. Help us learn from Joseph and to be righteous in your eyes. Help us choose, Lord, in a way that will get it right, especially when it's difficult. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May God be with you. May he bless you and keep you and stay strong and stay safe.